there's been a rush of silly videos on particular websites today and particularly YouTube's channels going on about the horror of a flag for the Pakistan national flag flying over Westminster Abbey. as though it somehow represents some incipient invasion of Britain by Muslim hordes. This shows once again how easy it is to play on people and wind up people and start creating fear climates and scapegoating. As a matter of showing this, I've done some basic research, which it seems some of these channels didn't do. Some of this I knew. There was one point I didn't. or oh, it had slipped my mind. But in any case, this is the page for Flag Days in Westminster Abbey. And it tells you a little bit about how flags are flown and the rules for it. Obviously, there's more to it, as all churches tend to have very involved procedures for this sort of stuff. But it's enough for a basic presentation. And I, I'd advise people to research it further if they want to learn more. Never to just take my word for everything. The two magnificent west towers above the Great West Door were constructed from Portland stone between 1722 and 1745 to design by Nicholas Hawksmoor. There's a man you should look up if you want a, a totally odd and bizarre individual in English history, by the way. In any case, on top of the North Tower sits a flagpole on which the Abbey flies flags of the Commonwealth nations. Notice that on top of the North Tower sits a flagpole on which the Abbey flies flags of the Commonwealth nations. And what is group of nations? Is Pakistan a, a member of, I ask you? It's a member of the Commonwealth of Nations. The, oh, dear. The, this kind of rebuts straight away the, the nonsense going on from some of these channels and websites which were going on about the horrors of this. But we'll develop this theme as we go. The start of this also tells you about a large number of other flags that can be flown. The flag of St. Peter, for obvious reasons, given Peter's importance in Christian history. The Abbey flag, the Union flag. Well, quite obviously, it's in Britain. The flags of the National Saints, the Royal Air Force flag and the Royal Standard. We'll skip down past some of those sections and go down to other flags. And it's this bit at the bottom which I'm going to highlight, which is of importance. A national flag is flown on the day when the High Commission of a Commonwealth member state is represented at Evenstone. Yes, it is. And Pakistani flags have been flown over Westminster many times over the years. It didn't just happen on Saturday. It wasn't the only time in its history. Here you have Pakistan's flag hoist on the Westminster Abbey to mark the Westminster Abbey. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love mis misuse of language when it's translated occasionally um, to mark Pakistan Day. On the 23rd of March, 2021. And here we have from another website from the Daily Times, which is uh, wants to send me updates, which it, I do not want, thanks. Um, it has it been fl flown in March 23rd, 2018. And why the 23rd? Because that's Pakistan's National Day. That's why some of the uh, channels going on about this started going on about Archbishop Welby and how he should have stopped this. Archbishop Welby could no more stop this than I could. He has no authority over Westminster Abbey. Westminster Abbey is a royal peculiar. It falls directly under the jurisdiction of the monarch and has done for oh, getting on a thousand years now. These the, there's a number of churches like that that are listed below on this Wikipedia article. You have equivalents to this in Catholicism where technically uh, even the Pope himself could not interfere with a, a convent or a monastery. In reality, it was probably a, ba a bad idea to ignore him, but in theory you could. There was an awful lot of nonsense talked about this on numerous websites today, on numerous channels, trying to suggest it was some sign of Muslims overwhelming Britain and some imminent conquest. I suggest people stop when looking at those websites, go off and look up things and look at the context a bit more and keep a calmer head on their shoulders rather than listening to the claims of people trying to present a three-second of information uh, 
or one minute of information and trying to use the actual fact without a context for scapegoating. Pakistan's national flag has flown over Westminster for its national day for many, many years. There's nothing unusual or exciting going on here.